2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Well played, mate. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. And a fantastic look upcoming. Just a four footer remaining. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. Not bad. And this shot from about 150 yards out. They've decided to club up. That's nicely done. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. This looks good. And now that finds him in first place. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And the effort, that one, playing from around 240 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Ooh. That'll sting a bit. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And with that hole behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Let's see what happens here on the fourth.
Nicely done. Good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Nice line. Well, what a start. This is impressive. That is definitely a confidence builder. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Love the short par fours, Rich. Always an opportunity. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks. It's got it all. Well, it was a bold strategy, but it looks like it's going to pay off. That certainly seemed to be an aggressive play, and it's paid off. A putt coming up for Eagle. Putting for Eagle here. Just didn't drop. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Ooh, this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right-hand side. Club selection is imperative. This one's going right at the pin here. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Nicely done. Going with the five iron here. Not a bad play, that one. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. It'll be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last.
Second shot here on the eighth. Gee, it's metronomic here. Green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. That starts off on a good line. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, right by the hole. That was wonderfully done. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Uh, absolutely. You dream of being in this position ahead by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here at the 10th. Going with the five wood. Great looking shot this. Yeah, nicely played. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. A chance to get two back on the course here. This one for Eagle. Rolling end to end. It's looking nice. Yes, they've made it. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Henny, what's the player facing here? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Had a fantastic drive. He's found the surface. Good chance here. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. That is hunting for the hole. That's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole.
Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Uh, great shot. And Henny, what are they looking at here? He's looking at around 14 foot, I'd say. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Well done. Take the birdie. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. They say the 13th is an unlucky number. But I don't see it for you. The tea is yours. That's tidy. Second shot here on the 13th. Hey. Nicely done. Putting for birdie here. Currently in first position. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Three feet to go here to the hole. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. That's heading for the fairway. From around 170 yards here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Outstanding shot, high quality. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. What a great feeling that must be. Seemingly an insurmountable lead for this player with just four to play.
Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That one was fired out of a cannon. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got the big 200 all the way back to this pin. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Mm, putting for a birdie. A birdie with big wings. Okay, steady now. Lining up the birdie putt here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This is an amphitheater-style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though, when they put the flagstick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. 12 feet to the cup coming up. That will drop in for birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Quality shot, that one. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. That's a pretty handy shot. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. And that's a big time victory at exactly the right time. Well done on capturing the Scottish Open. And what a victory it was around this Renaissance Club here in East Lothian, Scotland. An impressive victory on a challenging week indeed. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard